Shalom, shalom. This is Banyamian from Yak Rock of Yahawashai coming to you with another precept, man. You know, we come to bring out some precept today on some current event that's going on into this earth, man. Right? Because we're living in time where uncertainty, man. We're living in time where people been dictating unto people, right? Telling them what to do, what to wear, what not, and all kind of misery, man, into people's life, man. But without further ado, we are going to heal up the Heavenly Father. So we say, call you all Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ka'kadash. Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai. Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai. Yeah, man, because a lot of madness been going on up in the earth, man. And, you know, a lot of our forefathers didn't live to see this day, man. But we, the generation, live to see this day, man. And we're living in a curse right now, man. And it's high time we turn back to the Lord, man. Because if you never make it before, man, into this wicked place, man, you won't make it again, man. Because this is now the people fighting for your mind, right? And your soul, man. So it's time to return back to the Lord and give our mind and soul what they're fighting for in the first place, right? So anyway, we'll kick it off with <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 16. And we start at 3 and it read, Commit thy works unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. So right now, man, we have to commit our works unto the Heavenly Father, man, for our thought being established, man. Because right now, man, if it's not for the Lord, man, we're doomed, man, right? We cannot live in a way where we, we make man dictating to us and man doing things that pleasing them and taking us for a ride, man. We have to wake up and understand what's going on right now because for too long our people been asleep, man, right? And we ain't going to make them rock us back to sleep with all them foolery, man. Because right now, man, this is a new norm going on right now, man. Right now, they seems to say them open up back the place and all these things, man. So our people feel like everything's going back to normal, man. Listen, man, there's coming up, there's going to be a third lockdown, man. Right? So right now, they're just giving you a sense of everything is all right right now. But it's not, man. So as the Lord says, man, right? Commit thy works unto the Heavenly Father, man. We have to start show some works that we're doing within ourselves unto the Heavenly Father, right? Let me get Psalms <clears throat> chapter 55. Psalms 55. I will start at uh, 22. I read, Cast thy burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved man so yo listen man we have to cast all our burden upon the Lord man and he shall sustain us man right and he shall never ever right let the righteous be removed man so all these things we have to do man we have to take it and come back unto the heavenly father in truth and sincerity man right because if we don't man listen man this way of this place man it's gonna get onto us man it's gonna take us away man right because right now man everybody been what running to go get man uh way of life things up in their arm man so when you get these things up in your arm man it's gonna alter your dna man right and when these things alter your dna man the spirituality what I used to have with your father, man, those spirituality are going to last, man, because this is what they're doing, man. They're fighting for our mind and our soul, man. we connected to the Heavenly Father because we are his, we is his children, right? So listen, Yasharal out there, you Israelite out there, take yourself away from this wicked place, man, and come back home to the Heavenly Father, man. Can you see there's nothing here for us, man? Unless you're blind, right? Let me read Psalms, chapter 37, verse 5, and it reads, Commit thy ways unto the Lord. Trust 
also in him and he shall bring it to pass so yeah man we have to trust in the heavenly father man and the heavenly father will bring it to pass man right yo i know a lot of you may be thinking that the heavenly f seems like something real why the heavenly father did intervene in our life long before when we was on the slave voyage and all these things man but we have done it to ourselves man our forefather had done wrongs man so we the children have to pay for it right just like how these wicked forefathers have done so much wrong man when we was on the boat man so what the children have to pay for what their forefathers did man so our forefathers done wrong so we did have to pay for what our forefathers have done so they have to pay for what their forefather has done man so right now we as a fourth and third generation man we have to take our way back onto the lord man the 400 years of captivity is up man right so right now the heavenly father is calling back his people so all these happenings where you see happening in the earth man as it says man proverbs chapter 20 verse 24 man man going is the way of the lord how can a man understand his own way the lord is putting all the spirit on these wicked evil people man to ramp up pressure up into this place man so his people can get heed and take heed and come back onto his ways man so i'm just here bringing out the message to yasharal out there man all you israelite out there buckle up your belt lace up your shoes and turn unto the way of the heavenly father the heavenly father love you right and he haven't deserted you man he just put you to get some punishment and can't you see a punishment is overbearing man can you see the punishment <laughs> you don't have enough if you're out there man and you hear that you're an israelite man right how much good it is to be in an israelite man much in everywhere man right because as an israelite man you're the only one get repentance in this earth man you can repent from your wicked ways man you can turn away from that wickedness that you was doing man and come back to the heavenly father and the heavenly father will have mercy on you right this is the grace period but we get man we have grace so what we have to turn away from what we were doing man and come into that grace period and change our life and come back to the heavenly father man in truth and sincerity man not with mouth not with words we need to do deeds man for me and my house man i have to continue and march on with the lord man because this is our only hope man right we have to strive for the truth and to death man that's all it is man we have to strive with the heavenly father he will have mercy on us let me read that um slakia um this is deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 4 and it read for the lord your yahweh is he that goes with you to fight for you against your enemy to save you so listen man if you put the lord first man the lord will fight against our enemy to save us man because we have enemy down here and they're sucking our blood man like ticks man right like a chink man so we have to do a turn e to the heavenly father man and the heavenly father listen man the heavenly father love us man he goes and he fight for us man right let me get um maccabee chapter 1 verse 27 because all these things are written for our learning all right and if we don't take these things onto board man we're not gonna know how to come unto our maker man and he said for second maccabee chapter 1 verse 27 gather those together that are scattered from us so we are gathering all the Israelites that are scattered right and it read deliver them that serve amongst the heathen so we gonna have to call upon the hell by shima mashiach amongst these wicked nation man right all these nations they are heathens man right from they're not Israelite, they're heathen look upon them that are despised right and aboard and let the heathen know that thou are our power man so the heathen's gonna know that we are the children of the heavenly father man right 
just like it's written in um, Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 19, man. You know, they have to come and they're going to say, man, surely they're ignorant lies, man, right? But for no man, they are very proud and they're going to do what they please, man, right? But we, we have to just come back to the Heavenly Father because we are the children of the light, man. We are the spiritual children down here of the Heavenly Father walking up on earth and down on earth, man. We are the gods on the earth, man. But we haven't taught these things because your enemy wouldn't taught you these things. So the servant of the Heavenly Father, we have to come here and talk these things for you to follow suit. Get your Bible, get your pen, whatever you have, man, to put down your notes and follow suit, man, right? Verse 28, punish them that oppress us. So all these people that oppress us, they got to get punishment, man. But one thing, man, if you want to be on the righteous side, you have to take up your book, man. Take up your Bible, take up your Apocrypha, take up your... Uh, if you have the 16, 11, good riddicks. If you just have the King James Bible, take it up, man. Buy a pack of a man and reverence, man, right? And with pride do us wrong. They do us wrong with pride, man. They have joy in what they're doing unto us, man. Persecuting us every day, man. They kill us in the street like dogs. You know, not even dogs, because they love their dogs so much. They kill us in the street just like uh, uh, they're killing animals and take trophy with them, man. And take picture for trophy with them, man. Right? This is how much they hate us, man. Because, well, man, we've been the chosen, man. We hear by Shim Mashiach, we shall have mercy on our soul, man. Right? But he's chosen. That's going to come over back to him. He's going to protect us, man. So that's why we're here. Our brothers right round the four corners of the earth, man, bringing out all his knowledge unto Yasharal out there, man, for you to take heed and come back to the Heavenly Father ways, man, which is Yahweh, Shima, Mashiach, Yahushai, man, right? And all these people do us wrong, man, every day, all day, man, right? There's so much wrong they are doing to us, I can't even count and remember them, man. But you know out there how much wrong you have been receiving. And how much you have been in the firing line of having bad things done unto you, man. Have you got enough? Are you still ready to take more? Let's pack ourselves and come back to the Heavenly Father. As it said, man, gather those together, man, that will scatter. So we will scatter, man, all over this earth, man. So we're supposed to gather together. So we can take ourselves out of this misery that we brought upon ourselves. Right? And it reads, verse 29, Plant thy people again in thy holy place, as Moses has spoken. See, see? Yahweh Shimei ourselves, sir. We should plant ourselves in the holy place as Moses did spoken, man. So Moses said the Israelite must do the will of the Heavenly Father, man, if we want to be blessed, man. So as Moses been spoken, man, we have to do the will of the Heavenly Father. And the Heavenly Father will come back unto us. Because for right now, the Heavenly Father turned his back away on his people, man. Because we're not serving him in truth and sincerity. So now we start serving him, he might turn back in face unto us. Because the man of the Lord right now, man, right around the world, they're burdened a bit lighter. Because what? They're referencing the Heavenly Father. So the Heavenly Father shining us, show, showing us mercy right now. Right? But the brothers and sisters out there were not coming home to the Heavenly Father, knowing that they are Israelite, but still playing around, hanging around in this place, man, thinking that good's going to come, man. No good now going to come, man. It's all get worse and worse, man. Let me get um, 2 Maccabee <coughs> chapter 15, and I start at 7. But Maccabeus had every sure confidence that the Lord would help him. So you have to have that sure confidence that the Lord will help us, man. If you don't have that confidence, man, yo, you're already losing a buckle, man. Because we try everything, man. Nothing work, man. So let me try the next thing where we haven't been trying. We haven't been trying the Lord, man. So let me come over and start to try the Lord and see if things don't work, man. Because trust me, man, since I've been reverencing the Lord, man, and doing his will, man, the Lord made me want it or nothing, man. 
And when you do the Lord's will, man, the Lord will make you want it or nothing, man. You understand? So, brothers and sisters, this is our only way out of this wicked world, man, that is coming upon us more and more, creeping upon us. It's going to get worse. So, start get yourself together. As it says, man, seek ye the Lord while he can be found. And now you can find the Lord because the Lord put back his knowledge into this earth so you can find the Lord. Don't wait until it's too late so you can't find the Lord, you won't find him because he's going to laugh at your calamity. Okay, let me read on. And it says that the Lord would help him. Verse 8, Wherefore he exalted his people not to fear the coming of the heathen against them, but to remember the help which is farmer which slacker, which in former time they had received from heaven and now to expect the victory and aid which should come unto them from the Almighty. So yo, expect the victory that's gonna come, man, and the aid that the Mashiach Yahawasha is gonna bring unto us, man. He's gonna save us, man. But we have to what? Uh, reverence him in truth and sincerity verse 9 and so comfort them out of the law and the prophet and with all putting them in mind of the battle that they won for afore he made them more cheerful listen man this is already one man if we put everything in our mind man right before the battle even start man we want it man because what? Everything in our mind and our soul, man, we put it unto the Heavenly Father, man. We don't have a doubt, man. Right? When we think of our forefather, man, Samson. When we think of our forefather, David, man. David go and take on Goliath, man, with a, just a little man, man. And Goliath was a big champion, man. Did he have fear, man? No, he did not have no fear because the Lord didn't give him the spirit of fear. So the Lord not going to give us the spirit of fear, man. He's going to give us a sound mind, man, and a strong heart, man, to go and do the will, man. Right? Verse 10. And when he had stirred up their mind, he gave them their charge, showing them with all the falsehood of the heathen and the breach, the breach of other then he harmed every one of them, not so much with defense of shield and spear as with comfortable and good words. So he didn't even give no harm. He never gave them no shield, def no, no defense of shield, spear. Those comfortable good words, man. And they was ready. They was mighty. They was ready to go, man. And... Beside that, he told them a dream, word to be believed as if it had been so indeed, which did not, which, like, which did not a little rejoice them, which did rejoice them, man, right? Now let me jump down um, to uh, verse 21. We get into the dream. And it reads, Maccabeus, seeing the coming of the multitude and the diverse preparation of the armor of the fierce, the, fear, the fierceness of the beast, stretched out his hand towards heaven. So when Maccabees look and he see the fierceness of this beast coming, man, who is the beast, man? All these wicked Eden coming to come and fight the Israelite, man, right? And what he did, man? He said, um, he, he, he stretched out his hand towards heaven and called upon the Lord. So you see, he didn't think so. Oh, let me get my armor. Let me get my shield. Let me get my sword. Let me get my uh, uh, dagger. No. He said, man, he stretched, he, 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 he stretched out his hand towards heaven and called upon the Lord, man, that work wonders, knowing that victory come not by arms. Victory come not by arms, man. Victory come by the Lord, man. Sometimes you see other nations go out there and they go fight. Other nation, man. 
right? They use their arm, they destroy places, and what have you not, man. But listen, man, victory come by the way of the Lord, man. A other country can out there soft, man, and have nothing much, man, and the Lord give him victory, man. So, yo, we don't need arms, we don't need nothing, man. All we need is the Lord, man, and the Lord will fight for us. Let me read on. And it, yeah. But, but every, but slack it, but even as it seems good to him, he give it to such as are worthy. So, if the Lord feel like a person is worthy enough to get the victory, he will give the victory unto them. You know, that's how the Lord works, man. The Lord is a merciful Lord, man. Right? So if you reverence the Lord in truth and sincerity, man, you think the Lord going to make people just run over you and do what they please, man? If you be obedient unto him, man, nothing should hold you back, man. Nothing should stop you, man. The Lord shall be your shield, man, your defense, man. The Lord shall be your rock at your hiding place, man. Right? A thousand shall fall at the right hand, man, and a thousand at the left hand, man, and none, nothing can come near you, man. Once you believe in the Heavenly Father and you ribbit it in your mind and you believe on Him and you rejoice His name, man. Right? Verse 22, and it read, Therefore in His prayer He said, After this manner, O Lord, Thou did send Thy angel in the time of Ze Ezekiah, King of Judah, and did say, Slay in the house of Shen Nasha and hundred four score and five thousand. So the Lord said the, the, the Lord slew in the time of Ezekiah, man. Yeah, in, in the time of Ezekiah, the Lord slew four on four hundred and eighty and four score four hundred and eighty five thousand, man. Wherefore, how now also, O Lord of heaven, send a good angel. So Maccabeus asked the Lord to send a good angel. What do you think? This angel, what Maccabeus asked the Lord to send, is going to be an angel with feather, man. Nothing like that, man. This angel will come in. Hear what happening, man. It says, send a good angel before us for a fear and dread unto them. So him asked the Lord for send of good angel, fear and dread one unto them, man. Right? So the angel where the Lord said in um in um Ezekiah's time man. It was a fear and dreadful one man. But this time Maccabeus want a more fear and dreadful one. Right? Unto them man. So at the end of the day, man, listen, man, we don't need to fear nothing, man. The Heavenly Father is the one that's going to fight for us, man. Don't matter the consequence, don't matter what's going on, man. Yabai Shimi Asha is in the midst of us, man. So it's time for we start to get ourselves together, man, and start to move in a righteous way and reverence the Heavenly Father in truth and sincerity, man. Because, yo, if we don't do this, man, we just have to give over ourselves and to the enemy for them to take us for a spoil, man. Let me get the book of Nehemiah, <coughs> chapter 4. <coughs> Nehemiah, chapter 4, I'm going to start at 14, and it read, And I looked and rose up and said unto the nobles, and to the rulers, and to the rest of the people, Be not yet afraid of them. Remember the Lord, which is great and terrible. The Lord is great and terrible. Don't think, oh, the Lord is a man where he just deal with love, hugging and kissing. The Lord is a man of war, man. Right? Let me read on. Great and terrible and fight for you, for your brethren, your sons and your daughter, your wife and your house. Listen, man, the Lord fight for all of us, man. But we have to reverence the Heavenly Father, man, if we want the Lord to protect us. In this coming time, man. Because perilous time is coming, my brothers and sisters. And you see it. You see it coming. You see um, two years ago, man. Everything was nice and everybody was doing what they pleased, man. But now, man. Everybody been dictated to what you should do, man. What you can do and what you cannot. People been prisoner in the house, man. 
So it's time to return back to the Lord, man, and serve the Lord in truth and sincerity, man. Everything is going down right now, man. It's just because of what, man? The Lord foot is in this place, man, right? So as Jephaniah chapter 1 verse 2 said, Gather yourself together. All nations shall not desire, man. Before the day of it. Before, before the decree of... Let, let, um, let me get... Um, Deuter Deuteronomy. 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 Chapter 1. Deuteronomy chapter 1. I'm going to start at um, twenty nine and it read Then I said unto you Then I said unto you Dread not neither be afraid of them So we not the Lord said man dread not man neither be afraid of them man So we're not gonna be afraid of none of what these guys coming up at bringing up against us man because the heavenly father man is in the midst of us man and from the heavenly father is in the midst of us man we need to fear nothing man we just have to have that sound man mind man and that strong will man our reverence the heavenly father and never turn away man right because the heavenly father is right here man knocking on the door man telling us to hope in the door man right and coming over to his side man but our people why is it you love vanity like that, man? Why is it you make vanity cap captivate your mind, man? All these things is in the scripture. We haven't been learning all these things, man. Because what? Them say if you want to hide something, man, you put it into a book, man. And all the time this book been, these knowledge been sitting in the book. And our grandmother's bed. And the dresser. It been locked away, man, right in front of our face, man. And we haven't turned and take it up, man. But now, salvation is here for us. So if you don't take up this book, man, if you don't take up the Torah, man, which is the Bible, man, salvation ain't gonna come your way, man. Hard yet, misery and pain, man. Right? Let me read um, Numbers chapter 14 and I start at 9. Only rebel not against the Lord. So here it said, only rebel not against the Lord, Yasharala. All you Israelites out there, do not rebel against the Lord, man. As it says, man, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Heavenly Father, man. We fall into the hands of the Heavenly Father already, man. Look what happened to us, man. Our forefathers have been taken away on slave trip, man. They've been chewing overboard, man. Shark eat some of them, man. Some of them sit the journey and went to the Americas and went to the the Isles, the islands. And we are the offspring of them, man. It was a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power at that time with our forefathers. And we, the children, should repent and come back to the Heavenly Father in truth and sincerity, man. Right? Because the Heavenly Father is calling us, man. As the Heavenly Father said, man, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and seek the Lord, then he will slack you. Then he will return unto us, man. Let me finish this precept. And it says, Numbers 14 and 9, chapter 14, verse 9. Only rebels not against, only rebel not he against the Lord, neither fear he. The people of the land. So we don't fear no people on the land, man. Right? Fear the Lord. Oh, you fear the Lord, man. You fear the Lord because he can take us out at any given time, man. For they are bread for us. So these people are just bread for us. They're supposed to carry my bread. Come give me, man. They're supposed to go plow my field and all these things, man. So why should I fear them? I will never fear them, man. The Lord never give me the spirit of fear, man. Right? Read on. Their defense is depart from them. Their defense are depart from them, man. Right now, man, them sister is our time to rise, man. So they're trying to stand in the way and block it, man. And all are you light-headed um, people out there, man, don't even see what's happening. Because what? 
when you're spiritually not connected with the Heavenly Father, man. Turn your ways, man, and come home to the Heavenly Father, man. Right? And it says, their defense is depart from them, and the Lord is with us. Fear them not. So we ain't gonna fear them, man. So right now, we just have to have this courage with each other right now and start showing love to each other and come back to the Heavenly Father. We start doing His last statue and commandment and this is how we're going to connect back to the Heavenly Father, man. Right? As it says in um, uh, Psalms 111, man, verse 10, man, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, man. So if you don't fear the Lord, man, you can't get an understanding what I'm going on at this time, man. Right? So we need to put the Heavenly Father furthermore First and foremost, everything what we are doing in our life, man. And he will have mercy on us, man. Right? So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to close it out. And I'm going to say, call you all your hawa, ba shum, yawa shai, ba shum a kakadash. Brakata ya hawa, brakata ya hawa shai. Brakata ya hawa, brakata ya hawa shai. I'm Maniwala. Yeah, man. And all you brothers out there pushing the truth, in, truth and sincerity. Keep reverence, man. Do the thing, man. Because, yo, you're doing a great job, man. You're yeah, by Shimmy and Shai with all the brothers that are out there, man, who is doing the work, man. And all your aquaf, man, all your sisters, man. Remain in the truth, man. Reverence your whole soul, man. Look out for the children, man. Look out for your husband, man. You how by Shimmy and Shai would have mercy on you, man. Be submissive, right? And don't be that slandering woman going on slandering each other, right? Until the next one, shalom.